So in this video, we're gonna go from this to this. <laughs> What's up everyone, my name is Becca. If you are new to our channel, I shoot Get Ready With Me videos and do product recommendations for hair products that I love and I think would make your life easier. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. So today I'm shooting a product recommendation video, putting on some makeup, doing my hair. I'm still using my Super Goop foundation and the color light, but I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna stick with this product once I'm finished with it. I might go back to um, Jane Iredell, which is like a skincare makeup line, and I used it a really long time. <laughs> Look at this giant pimple. <sighs> Partially my fault, that thing, that massive goiter on my throat. Goiter, what a terrible word. I am a picker, I pick and pick and pick at my skin. It's a sickness. I should go on a talk show and talk about it. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, super group. I might go back to Jane Iredell. A little bit more expensive, but I don't know. I think I might like it better, but I haven't used it in a couple years. I was just getting bored of it, so I switched. And I've been kind of bouncing around, but I used it for a really long time when I did use it. So I might go back to it. It's super lightweight and very dewy. The thing I like about this product is that I almost feel like it's waterproof. Whenever I put water on my face, it just kind of like rolls off, which I like that because anytime I cry, <laughs> it just kind of rolls down my face. Um, and if I'm sweating or anything like that, this this um, foundation has been able to hold up to that. What I don't really like is that it just is annoying to kind of get off. I mean, not like terribly annoying, but I do have to use like a cleansing like face wash when I get it off. And then I have to like do another, <laughs> I have to do like two washes at the end of my day. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day. It's Monday for me. Monday is a filming day for us. Kind of my catch up day for the week. I usually order groceries with Instacart. I did a review about them if you're interested so i normally order groceries haven't done that yet we normally take sundays off so off social media like off everything <laughs> off which is really nice especially since right now a lot of the majority of my stuff i do during the week involves some form of social media which is fine i enjoy it but I need a break. So if you're commenting on a Sunday and you don't get a reply back, that's why. Which, speaking of being off on Sunday, yesterday, we, um, we as in me, Royce did it a little bit. He would kind of come in and out, but I watched Survivor literally all day. So I'm trying to catch up. I think it, I'm on season 37 or 38. I love Survivor. I love the like, social experimental thing about it. I think it's just so interesting. So we like literally, I literally watched it all day long. It was just on the TV. <laughs> All day long we'd pause it to like eat food but then i just went back to sitting on the couch or playing with philippa in the living room while we watched survivor it's fantastic and what makes me feel okay about doing that is we literally work pretty much all week on social media on uh, the photography business and royce's normal job you know we're working all week so it's nice to have that time off do you guys do time off do you have like a like a day that you like for sure set aside to just not like do anything, any work. Like sometimes we'll go out and like adventure and stuff. Usually it's just our chill day. I might do a dark shadow today just for something different. This is my Morphe 15M N, N as a Nancy palette. I'll show you the colors. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think that they reformulated once they got really popular. Not as good as the 350 palette. I don't feel like it's as pigmented as the my 350 palette. I could be wrong. Again, I am not a professional <laughs> makeup artist. And like this, I don't know if you can see it, like kind of how dark it is. Like it feels darker than like what you would expect. It's, I'm using that, literally the lightest color in the palette and shows up like really dark on me. I don't know why. I don't know if you could see that, but I bought it at a hair show directly from Morphe, so I don't, I don't know what 
what's going on there, but I don't feel like this palette is as like, pigmented as the 350 palette. I think I bought them at the same hair show, just like a year apart. Do you have um, Morphe palettes? And if you do, like a big one and a little one, and you notice like a difference in the pigment, let me know. I'd be curious. What did I just do to my eyebrow? Oh my gosh. I tried to, <laughs> tried to save it, it did not work. Put that away. Here we go. We'll just use this. Oh my gosh. This is not working out. My brows have always been a struggle for me. I need to pluck. I think I'm bad. Okay, whatever. I have bangs. I'm gonna cover them up. <laughs> not gonna try anymore. I will do a little bit of eyeliner. Since I'm doing a darker shadow. Okay, here's my attempt at my hooded wing. The crappy liquid eyeliner pen. Okay, if you're standing in TJ Maxx right now and you're looking up Nano liner, don't buy it. I'm so irritated right now. Okay, forget it, I'm done, I'm over it. I already felt like I wanted to be low maintenance and here I am doing a wing eyeliner and it's not even even, whatever, I don't even care. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna cover it up and it'll be fine. That's what I mean by it not being like really pigmented. I feel like you have to like layer it a lot. Okay, putting on that. Mascara. So my plan for my hair is, it's in a bun right now. I'm gonna re-wet my bangs and re-blow dry them. Then try and do either like a bun up top or a low bun on the side. I haven't quite decided yet. I feel like for my makeup, I do like the same kind of pattern. Because of my hooded eyes, I feel like I don't have that much like variety that I can do. But I can just change the color. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do. Mm, mm, mm. I'm like obsessed with making my eyes pop, so. <laughs> wow, 20 minutes on just my makeup. Cool, 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 cool. Isn't this like the cutest little bag? I love Rifle Paper Company and a friend of mine got this for me as a gift. I love it. If I can find it online, I'll link it below. Here's where we're at with my hair. <laughs> Big old mess. I'm gonna throw some dry shampoo. This is the Kerastase one that I've been using. So I think I'm at a place right now where I would actually recommend this product if you need a nice and light and fresh dry shampoo that doesn't leave a ton of residue in your hair for all hair types. Fine fragrance root and hair refreshener. Give it a nice fresh scent. I did work out this morning. I'm going to use my Kerastase elixir as my heat protectant and now I'm going to re-wet my bangs, hopefully without getting my face wet, and re-blow dry this. <laughs> oh dang, stop! <laughs> my scalp is crying. Okay, let's not do that. Recommendation, do your hair first. One of the reasons why I'm wetting it is because it's literally not gonna do anything I want it to do. So I'm gonna re-wet it and blow dry them how I want them. And then um, hopefully work a style with the rest of hair, the hair into that. So here we go. Also, these are really great round brushes if you have long hair. This is the Olivia Garden Extra Long Speed Round Brush and this is size 45. Curtain bangs seem to be like so in right now, but the problem with a curtain bang is that you kind of need to have a center part. I don't really have a center part. I mean, I kind of do. Also, you see my gray hairs? I'm loving my gray hairs. Do I want to put it up? Bring some of these down? Maybe just to do something different. I feel like I've been doing my hair all the same recently. Like how much is too much to leave down? I don't really know. I think you just do it until you like it. I love me a good chic little messy bun. I feel like with my dark shadow, it like works. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm gonna just bobby pin this. Do like a, I used to do a ton of little top knots. Last time I had bangs and I loved it. Cause all you do is literally, it's like a little, little twist. Take a nice little bobby pin. And where you're holding your end, shove that bobby pin into the center of the little bun and then come around to the other side do the same thing and they'll kind of connect and then i like to do the one side and then the other side so if you have short hair like me you're definitely going to get those little pieces coming out the back 
cool, right? I've seen some girls like braid that. I'm not like super great at braiding. That is not my strength as a hairstylist. So I just bobby fit it. And this is gonna be a video, so you guys aren't gonna see it back there anyway. I've also seen like clips, like those decorative clips. People clip it up there, but I'm just gonna bobby pin it. Do you see that? I think that needs to be cut. It's still a little trimmy trim. I didn't really like, feel like doing my hair today. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? It's still clean. I think I'll just put it up. Like just redo my bangs. And put it up. And now you're gonna get a little bang trim today, did ya? Just a little one, just so I can see what's going on in the world. It's really helpful to see. And I'm still like kind of liking the bigger, thicker bang on my forehead. I think it still works. So that was just blending it into the sides. If you want like a real bang trim tutorial, let me know in the comments. I will do one. But that is just to kind of hold me over. Actually, this is like really kind of what I do. When I style them and they're just a little unruly, I just trim it off. That's cute. <laughs> okay, it's really the bang. I feel like the bang is in the eyeshadow. So it's doing it. And this little bun is just like a little treat on top. Like a little cherry, a little cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Something different, something new. I have hair all over my vanity. I am gonna just do some finishing, a little bit of brilliantine. If you guys have seen any of my get ready videos, I use this pretty much every time. And it's just gonna give a little bit of definition. Also, again, if this is your first time watching, if you use too much brilliantine in your hair, you're gonna hate it. Make sure to use sparingly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoops. That's all stuff that's not in my bun. Cool. Just take a bobby pin, it's fine. Um, anyway, if you're a hairstylist and you do weddings or wedding parties on location, this is a great um, product to have. It's like a finishing. It's gonna bring your curls together. It's gonna give really nice shine, a little bit of definition without like being a paste or anything like that. Finish with some, I think that's it. That's all she wrote. All right, what do y'all think? Cute, like the little bun? Can you see it? Mm -mm -mm. Also, what I like about this hairstyle is that it covers up my postpartum. So if you're having issues with postpartum hair loss, but you have like enough hair back here, you could have a nice thick bang and then cover up those. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Just a quick little hair and makeup. Um, something a little different today, no curls, just restyling our bangs, <laughs> giving them a little trim and throwing our hair up in a little tiny bun. I love, I love little tiny buns. If you're interested in the product I'm reviewing today, make sure to subscribe so that when that video comes out, you could watch it. Hit that like button if you like this kind of content. I like interacting with y'all on YouTube and Instagram, so make sure to follow us at Royce and Becca. And speaking of Royce, he's probably ready for me to film that video. So I'm gonna head over there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.